I think that art is almost invariably something that can come through you. Like the other side is whispering and that we have a, a connection with that other side. They're here with us. So from that perspective, if you're aware that something's coming through, it's not, it's never a question, well, how can I create? It's always there. It's, it's not, it's, it's like this is, uh, this is where we, we are is in creation. It's endless. Everything, just look at the, the waves or the, the grass blades, everything is different. If you want to look, look at it. And so there's, there's this tapping into this, this larger pool of energy, how to, how to tap into something that's, that's this larger sense something that we we breathe in right because we all breathe into air that's all through the planet yes yet a lot of people seems to have a, a wish to create but they feel a block or it never happens or so there seems to be a difficulty for people in general to access their creativity or an art expression yeah, it's, it's, it's this thing we grew up with, this comparison. And that's, that's, it. that's one of the bigger, biggest block that you could have. You can even compare yourself when you were younger. It's still comparison. The act of creativity is, is uh, not complicated. You know, they say that you just got to get out of the way. What does that mean? It means trusting, it means being open, it means following a feeling as opposed to fault necessarily just following the thought. You know, another block is, 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 is the fear of what are other people going to think about it, put it out in the world, the judgment. So comparison and judgment, I think, are the, are the, the main blocks that come up in people. And so how do you alleviate that or how, how do you move through that and that's part of what your work is you know that you deal with people's traumas but if I were going to work with people and how to open to that possibility of trust I would have them do silly things you know just just a movement on a piece of paper even if it doesn't make any sense or writing without uh, any thought that anybody's going to read it. And they'll find that if they do this every day or more, there's more of a practice that this muscle will build of, of this, as I would say, trust. The trust of creativity. The trust of, of, of that you're not alone. That there's something right on your shoulder that wants to, to help you. I think this is what, where, where art really is, or the, the potential of creativity. It's, it's the capacity to have help. You're helped. That's how I see it anyway.